Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we met Lubba, our cruise director, and he landed us on the face ship. Made it just for us. He knows how much we love idolatry. Here's Mario's beautiful face and his huge schnoz. Comes complete with free star bits. If you're into that, you're going to want a ton of them. So go ahead and collect some of those when you get a chance. But we need to hit this big yellow button. Oh boy. Love it, take the wheel. I'm not sure what we're in for. Looks like we're about to blast off. Love is rolling away. It's very rotund. Poor Lubba. Mario is absolutely stoked for this. As he should be. As you should be. And when you're stoked, you know what you do? You like videos, you comment on them, and you subscribe, of course, right? So here we go. The introduction to this game's travel mechanic, the world map. Akin to Mario 3, Mario World. But like Mario Galaxy, in order to access certain places, you gotta have enough power stars. So currently, you've got enough power stars to go this far down, which is referring to the galaxy right next to us. So now we have our call to action. Lubba has empowered us. Let's check out the Yoshi star. See what this is all about. For all intents and purposes, things are basically the same. Just no common observatory instead. We've got a world map. So we're going to saddle up with Yoshi if my pointer would stay on it. That'd be nice. Not sure who Yoshi is. Was he in the first game? I'm trying to recognize that character. I can see an egg, but doesn't mean anything yet. It's a nice touch. Nice Koopa skull. Can pop on here. Some nice joyous music. We like this. You can get stuck here in the poo. You don't want to get stuck in the poo. Promise. Lots of coins. Yeah. Bonk enemies right on the head, you'll wind up with coins, but you'll probably want to get star bits instead. Let's see what this Luma has to say. So I thought Vulsa would be more helpful in getting the star, but he just kept running around in circles. Okay, so maybe that doesn't look like Yoshi left an egg. Oh, we got trapped. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should get him out. That sounds like a good idea, right? Gotta figure out how to do that, though. I'm not entirely sure. Oof. Looks like we're dealing with the well, debut of Magikoop on this game. Easily dispatched via Spinaroony in the introduction of our buddy, I think, Yoshi. So yes, in Mario Galaxy 2, Yoshi makes an appearance. Can also speak English apparently, or maybe we speak Yoshinese. I'm not entirely sure. So somehow, they were able to trap Yoshi and put him in an egg. Now you can see the cursor is a little different, it's no longer a star. It's kind of Yoshi's tongue, we'll say that. So when you have enemies that you can log log onto, lock onto, you can log, log into, the game will let you know, oops. I'd like to stay on Yoshi, actually. I don't think you can long jump with Yoshi. It's a bit unfortunate. You can smash stuff. You can eat berries. Yoshi's favorite. I'll poop out some star bits for you. No eggs like Yoshi's Island, but that's okay. We need star bits, so pooping out star bits is actually really good. Thank you, Yoshi, for your incredible gastrointestinal system. So there you go. Yoshi's going to become an integral part of our exploration here in Galaxy 2. A pretty interesting mechanic. Ooh, this guy's trying to give us a big old kiss! I'm not entirely- okay. <laughs> See, I'm not entirely sure how to get him- get him off me. That really sucked. Okay. And you can eat multiple things at the same time, so... Don't hesitate to... Double, triple dip. Here's a little exploration and, uh, okay, not cool. 
Oh, I was trying to be, I was trying to be all next level stuff, but you gotta highlight them all at the same time. I goofed. We have time? We do it? Oh, of course. We'll grab two of those lives. Don't really need many of them, to be honest. Don't really see myself dying enough times to the point where I would be so inferior of a Mario Galaxy player to need 15 lives, but this looks like a pretty special berry. It is, it's a launch star. Before we do that, let's go ahead and make sure we've done everything. There's a little area over here that we have not explored yet. It's basically more of the same, but you gotta make sure you take advantage of everything. There's a life over here. And more bugs to eat. Yoshi's got a pretty tenacious appetite, I would say. He also has his flutter jump, so don't forget to get that. Also, the game gives you a little trampoline here. Use that with the flutter jump to slide off the side. Just a little tutorial on what not to do, of course. Grab yourself the Comet Medal. Like I mentioned before, one Comet Medal per galaxy. Acquiring said thing will trigger a future Prankster Comet, so just don't forget about that. You're gonna make sure you get them all. Some of them can be a little tricky to find. Other times, not so much. So hopefully I didn't ruin my thumbnail. Okay. This is kind of a fun slash weird mechanic that they will eventually see more of. But here is the the special cube, which is great because it's important we teach kids about gambling early. And how fun it can be. Especially when you make it colorful and bright. Okay, so moving forward. That's a launch star. Is there anything else on this hairy planetoid? Nope. That's okay. We'll blast away onto the next part of this area. Some of the missions with Yoshi are pretty interesting. They they will mix them up. So if you think that plain vanilla Yoshi is maybe not your cup of tea, your cup of mushroom tea. Is that a thing? Do people drink mushrooms? Fret not. There will be many opportunities for you to explore the various Yoshi powers. In the same way that Mario World had various Yoshis, so does Mario Galaxy. So that's exciting. Prepare yourselves for that. I won't spoil what they are. So you'll just have to tune in and see for yourselves. There's a good enough amount of variety that I think you'll all enjoy it. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. My bad. The power-ups are pretty... Oh, they're okay. I mean, I think that they are, in the context of the game, pretty cool. I mean, they're not going to blow you away. Let's face it. But, you know, it's still, they're still fun. It's still a Mario game and a Mario power-up. Here's another core mechanic of Yoshi. Yoshi has the ability to grab on a flower thing. Oops. Okay. So, that was not good. A little quick tutorial on what not to do. You're welcome. Let's go ahead and get back to where we were. But yes, those flower blocks or flower icons, whatever you want to call those, you grab onto those and they whip Yoshi onto the next area you're trying to get to. It's very nice. Oof. Don't mind the slowdown. Mario Galaxy 2 is a bit of an old game. Needs a little bit of time to get up to speed and shake off the rust, I suppose. Yeah, here you go. These flower blocks are his main mode of tra transportation. He also apparently is strong enough to pull out wooden blocks. I'm assuming that's what that material is supposed to be. Yes. As you'll see, the flower block is being introduced now. There will definitely be moments in the future where you'll have more of a tricky interaction with said blocks. I, guess, I don't even know if I, if I would really call them blocks. They're not really blocks, but whatever they are. Kind of like similar, I guess, to the, the the pool stars from Galaxy 1, which I do believe are also in this game, so 
Prepare yourselves for more of those. And you know how much I love those. So whipping yourselves up here. Looks like there might be something over there. I don't quite want to grab this yet. I want to see why there's so many of them. Nope. Nope. Okay, so no real reason if you just want to have fun with it. Whip your Yoshi back and forth. I feel like spending a little more time with our dinosaur buddy, huh? Okay, so that wasn't so bad. The introduction to Yoshi went pretty smooth. Unlike the frame rate of this game. Okay, so that's saddle up with Yoshi. Two Comet Medals down, like I said. One per galaxy. And a cutscene. We can now advance. So we have collected enough star power to embark on a further destination. Oh no, looks like Mario didn't take care of his skin. Looks like we've got a clogged pore here. Lubba being rude, referring to Yoshi as an alien species. I mean, technically it is to him, but then again, so is everything, so. Let's hop back into the, uh, the world map here. And see that we've been lied to. Not actually true. We cannot advance. We can advance in a moment. We'll go ahead and tackle the Sky Station second galaxy star. We're gonna storm the Sky Fleet. This will give us access to that. Some giant bullet bills. I don't know if those have additional names or not. Not too familiar with the naming conventions and the lore of this game, as you all are well aware of if you watched the first series. We got little Bow Wows here bouncing around. Bouncing our, bouncing our big green balls around. We like that. That's fun. You can make them explode if you smash them with your balls, so please do that. They run into them a little bit themselves. Kind of clumsy if I do say so myself. This is actually Yoshi's house. I'm assuming it's meant to be the same Yoshi's house from Mario World. Making a brief appearance here in the first galaxy. Go ahead and warp down to the other side. Bring it around town. And we've got a Luma here who's stuck. Needs our help. And it needs the key. So unfortunately, the ground butthole has been sealed. We do not have access to that, so instead we'll have to find another solution. We probably should work on getting these Bow Wows out of the way. The mini ones. Okay. So first try. Thank you, game. I'm aware of that. We'll grab the key in a moment, but first we need to open up these other chests. I like a nice big chest. You can hit the Bow Wow course for more star bits. Coins will be more prevalent in this game, like I mentioned before. But instead of hitting them with our balls, let's turn into Super Mario. I like the the bass line that you can hear in the background. Or maybe you can't. I'm not sure how you listen to this type of recording of mine. I've got headphones on. So I can hear all those sweet tunes in my beautiful voice in the recording. We have freed the Luma from its captivity. And as such, you scratch my back. I turn into a launch star. So that seems like a pretty fair transaction. We can run all the way around this giant shaft and grab the power star here. Turning into Super Mario again. This is fun. You'll get yourself a, a buttload of, that's actually a pretty accurate form of measurement. Star bits here. You're gonna definitely want to Take my advice, or else, and collect all those star bits early, and also be exploded. So there's that. Now we need to make our way inside this structure. It appears there is a gaping hole down here. 
in our first experience with some kind of sideways gravity. Spin your Wiimote around poorly, like I just did. My sensor bar is not very fond of me, apparently. But I do want to grab most of these. Okay, we'll try one more. One more. That sounds fair, I would say. Try to grab a little bit more. Huh? Okay, that's good enough. The old college try. Okay, wrong button. Trying to do a bit of a backflip. The Luma spin is always really helpful in this game. It's basically the precursor to using Cappy in Mario Odyssey. For those of you who have played that game, that wonderful entry into the Mario series. But Master Luma was first, so... Get it right. There's the launch star, but we're not going to head in there yet. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. First, I'm going to take a lesson from Donkey Kong Country A, B, D. Always be ducking. Grab yourself a very needed life for running low. It's a good number. It's a good day of the month to be born, I'd say. And we'll ride this all the way around to another bonus. This is basically the same as before. No Yoshi this time. So we're just going to use the Power Star. Get all the star bits. And the lives that we... We're just struggling. Like, I didn't I didn't expect this Let's Play to kind of go so poorly initially with me dying a lot and, you know. Like, 25 lives, like, ugh. I don't know if I'm going to make it. But instead, we'll... Ride this all the way around to the launch star. I guess we'll do what this game says. I was pretty sure that I was actually going to get electrocuted right there. Probably should have with the way that it was going. But I did not because I'm amazing and that's how epic I am. So here's some touch pads. If you do a good enough job of touching yourself, you will have them turn green. Oops. Okay, great. I would like to jump up here and collect more star bits. Any of these stones, when they're arranged in a circle like that, you can you can bet your bottom dollar, or your bottom coin. I don't know if there's dollars in this game, but there's going to be some star bits. Here's Cosmic Mario, the Cosmic Clone. It's from Sunshine, but makes a reappearance in this game, it was also in Galaxy 1. Okay. So we're doing well. We're going to be chased down here by these giant bullet bills. Not very cash, I would say. I don't know why they always got to be up on our business, all exploding and stuff. But you just got to make your way. Oop, almost died. Wouldn't that have been funny? Dying is funny! Oof. I'm gonna try to be careful here. We've got a spiky piranha. You can't bop this one on the head. So instead, you gotta hit the shaft with your ball. Get that key. Star unlocked. Star get. Okay. The sad thing about getting the star is that you lose the music. But you still- oh! Okay, not the smartest thing I've done today. That's okay, we're gonna stylishly grab this star. And now that we have three stars... ...and two Comet Medals... ...we'll have access to that new spot that the game teased us about, saying that we could go to, but it was wrong! I blame Lubba. Lubba's kind of the... ...core of all of the bad things in the world. Mm-hmm. See? And he's trying to to convince us that he's helping. Also, I like that the thing under the little steering wheel there looks like a face. It's like, I'm a big button. So there we go. If you do have somebody willing to do this for you, two people can, quote, play this game. So basically what will happen is two emotes, two people. You can have somebody jump in as a secondary player. It's basically like the little brother of this game. 
and in the process they can stun enemies, they can gather star bits for you. It is as eventful as it sounds. So if you're into that, but anyway, we'll use our three stars and open that pathway. Is this just open a pathway? Oh, that's what it does. Oh, see, I'm dumb. I mean, it still didn't really take us anywhere. That's still not exciting. Okay, well, that would have been fun if I would have known what that is, but that's okay. We will gather the second Yoshi star and call it a day once we finish this one. Trying to keep these episodes a little bit more manageable. They were about 25 to 30. That's kind of what the flagship episode will be for the core Let's Play of this channel. I feel pretty good about that. Seems to work well. Pokemon episodes were running like 40 to 50 near the end of it, and that's just too long. And you know how, you know, when the game gets challenging, when it's hard, and it's long, I don't mind things being long and hard, but my big thing is that I need it to make sure that it's something that you want to enjoy. Because if you're not enjoying it, it's a painful experience, and I don't want that. Let's go and grab our boy Yoshi. Got a visit from Lakitu here. He's ever-present and always annoying. But he's given us some spinies here that we can... We can bop. We can get up there and point your cursor at him. You can bonk some of these glass spheres. All it takes is one little hit to stun him. Once we're the number one stunner, we can open up a bonus. We can also, if I can do it right, probably not. Whoop, we can knock him out and say, get out of here, Mr. Lakitu. What do you have to say to me? So that's just another hint. Can't really eat the spinies. We can temporarily suck on them and use them as projectiles. Okay. So this little bit is kind of tough. I don't know if the expectation is that you're supposed to get all the... I mean, obviously. Oh, boy. Well, I'm doing this very poorly. Um, I think the game wants you to kill all the Goombas, but as you can see, I have not done that. <laughs> I'm actually on the verge of dying. I tease. Oh, and I lost Yoshi. No! All right, where is... Where is our... Our green companion? Here he is. And Lakitu has respawned. So, you know, everything is just going according to plan. We're having a great time, right? Either you're having a great time or the greatest time on D-Mike Plays. That's just kind of how it goes. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. I will eat you instead. That's right. Back off, Mr. Condensation. Ooh, there's a bug. This game is full of them. All right, so moving forward, we need a spiny to break open the glass shell here. There's another one up over there if you desperately need it as we always do, but we'll pass on it for this one. There's actually a really cool set piece of Yoshi and Mario flying around that we'll see later. Maybe not in this episode, but that's okay. Oh, that hitbox is a little, a little too strict. I don't like it, but we'll, <laughs> we'll wipe out Lakitu from getting in our way. Comes right back, unfortunately. You're welcome. You could uh, hurry up and uh, explode for me. Thanks. Not really doing. Okay. Well, I guess technically they're guiding us. I do believe that's a bonus if you ride that second launch star, but I didn't see it in time. That's what I get for not paying attention. Always pay your taxes. Always pay attention. So here you go. You can use Yoshi to pull out these wooden blocks. I think they're timed, so you can hear it. Should give you enough time to hop up there, grab the life. Not really a super challenging situation, not a big ask. And you know how much I love a nice big ask. Oops, okay. So that was kind of unfortunate. But we can grab the spiny from down the ledge. These controls are a little finicky, but then again, this is what you get for a a Wii game from 2010. And I do believe this is our, gonna be our 
first experience with a novel new boss. I don't know if they introduce its name, maybe? But he is feeling pretty charged. So I don't know if this is like King Lakitu or if, oops, okay. I like that I fell right into a coin though. You will want Yoshi. Get yourself a spiny, scoop him up. Ooh, just missed. Just a bit outside. There we go. We'll see if this game follows the rule of thirds or not. He's had enough of our static. This is a pretty fun boss fight. Pretty simple. They do a good job in the early going of the game of not making things not too challenging. But he is pretty elusive. He's pretty skilled at getting out of the... Oh boy. Yoshi, please. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So we're doing okay on health. Interestingly, they don't give you the health recharge for this fight. Like they do the Kiwi Piranha one. I feel like it would be more useful in this one. Unless they deem this fight to be less difficult, I'm not entirely sure. It's not really that bad, though, to be completely honest. I mean... All you have to do is just be epic. That's pretty much it. Ooh, he is fired up. Oh, I thought I got him. Oop, this is not where I want to be. I did not mean to grab that. Oops. Oh, and he got rid of my... He got rid of his helpers. All right, so there we go. Apparently my aiming skills are horrible. It's actually really hard to see what I'm doing. My viewing surface is not great. But don't worry, we're gonna take him out with the long shot. That was pretty awesome. You're welcome. Netsia star. So, that's a good exchange, you know, murder for a star. And a stylish get. How's that feel, ladies and gentlemen? You got a star because you guys are stars. No kidding. Okay. So officially, that is star number four out of many. A boatload of star bits. Every time you get 100 coins, you get a life, thankfully, and a game save. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'll see you next time. Bye.